Hi hey there. Joy. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, nice to Good. see you. Thanks nice for coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So you're here to learn about Q condos? Yeah, this okay. is Life on Q. This is Life on Q, absolutely. Awesome. Um, so we have this great presentation center so I can take you around, yeah. show you a few things, Let's and we can chat out. about the project. This is a great resource for um, anybody who's not familiar with downtown Kitchener yep. or who are coming from um, you know, GTA, outside of the region. Um, so just a good map of everything that downtown Kitchener has to offer. This is so awesome to actually have like an in-person yes. presentation center yes. again. Yes, <laughs> for sure. And you know, we've kind of built it around that one-on-one -on -one experience. So understanding that not everybody is ready to, large, to come to large events yep. um, at the current time, but we're definitely really happy to meet with people, connect, um, you know, meet with some of our previous clients and kind of walk them through what Q has to For offer. Sure. So there's obviously like a lot of stuff happening downtown that are pr that's exciting in terms yes. of driving economic growth in the yes. area overall. Yep. But there's actually some really cool stuff happening like right across the street from the building. Yeah, here, absolutely. Right? So in the building here we have Skywatch, which is um, a company that's recently moved to downtown Kitchener. Um, we also have Vidyard right next door, which is a local tech company. Yeah. And they've just actually furtherly expanded, so they've actually taken some space across the street as well. So it's great to have those companies in the direct vicinity of Q. Totally, totally. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the cool things about this location. Like, not only um, can you live in the area, but mm -hmm. and, and there's lots of obvious things to do in the immediate area. But like, it's truly that kind of like work local, Absolutely. live local, play yeah. local location. Yeah, super walkable. Yeah, place. definitely awesome. for sure. So this area is kind of dubbed an arts district. There's usually a lot of live music. Even little markets get set up in the summer as well. So that's a really cool experience for anyone living in Q as well. For sure, and it's just yeah. it's such a cool scene. Like it's like Pinterest worthy yeah, scene, right? Totally. Like string totally. lights over yeah. top, little markets. Yeah. Yeah. Just hanging out and yep. enjoying life downtown. Yep. So why don't we head over? We can take a look at some of the building amenities yeah. and just a larger image of the building Sounds as well. Great. Okay, perfect. So um, if we head over here, um, this gives you a good idea of the render of the building. Um, as you can see, we are keeping the original heritage design, right, of that older building, um, and then tying into that with the tower. And that building was built like in like the early 1900s, yes, right? Yes, like correct. Yeah, so or lots or of history for sure. Um, so we talked a little bit about the exterior of the building, so we can talk about some interior features too. Um, so one of the big things with condo living is the amenities, right? What you have access to. Um, so some of the amenities with with Q condos. Um, we have an indoor lounge and outdoor lounge. Um, so the indoor lounge will be complete with furnishings, nice fireplace, so a great place to hang out. Um, then the outdoor lounge will have some seating, some fire pits, um, barbecues, those kind of items. Um, so, you know, after having a nice dinner out downtown, you can easily jump into that space, um, have a drink outside, inside, and just utilize some amenity space. Um, beyond this, we are also offering some pretty cutting edge fitness facilities. So we'll have a Peloton studio within the building. Um, we'll also have some Lululemon mirrors um, for fitness, and then your standard gym as well. Um, so those will all be offered to residents too. Um, we also have a guest suite. So um, if you have family visiting from out of town, uh, maybe not enough space in your unit, they can easily rent that guest space as well um, and utilize that. Um, we'll have a coffee shop, concierge as well. Um, and then we've also partnered with Kitchen Mate. So that is a food service company where they'll be offering um, fresh meals um, in the lobby space that um, residents can quickly grab um, on their way out or on their way back in uh, from work and have access to really high quality cuisine. All right, Joey, well, that all sounds great. I think I'm due to meet up with Brian for coffee, so I'm going to jump over and meet him at Show and Tell. Okay. But thanks a lot for taking us through the project. All right. We'll talk soon. No problem. Thanks. Okay, thanks. All right. Hi. How's it going? Mr. Gibson, how you doing, buddy? Good to see good, you. Good to see you. Yeah. Sure. Grab a coffee. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, so we're crossing over to the uh, newly renovated Bongosang Green. Yeah, it looks but, great. Uh, but the Queen Street corridor itself is, is only a couple of years old. This whole corridor, basically from Duke down to Charles, yeah. is uh, just night and day from where it was two, totally. three years ago, right? Well, I also feel like it's become a lot more like bike and pedestrian friendly too in the process, right? Yeah, like this, yeah. It's always been a really walkable area. It's probably gotten more walkable, but like some of these improvements have really helped in that. And you, you know, now that summer's coming up on us, you, you see all sorts of people sitting out here having lunch, having a coffee, you know, making use of it. Actually, I was here on Saturday and uh, a band 
four piece band oh, yeah? just kind of popped up just and was playing. Yeah, yeah, there's oh. about, there was maybe 10 or 15 people watching, but it was, I mean, it was if really that cool. doesn't define uh, arts district, I don't know what does, right? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. It's, uh, yeah, so it's, it's a fantastic place to be. Right. It's a Beaux Arts building and, and uh, was the original home of, uh, of economical insurance. Yeah, it's got, uh, it's got a real history here. And so we're, we're really happy to be able to retain the facade, retain the, you know, the, the Beaux Arts look. Uh, and, then, and then add some residential density in behind it. Uh, 34 stories, 240 units, uh, right at King and Queen. So, I, you know, we couldn't be happier about this site. All right, well, let's head downtown, down Sounds Queen, uh, finish this coffee and go look at a few other things. Let's do it. So, yeah, lots, lots happening, of course. Our historic uh, Walford Hotel. Gorgeous, uh, gorgeous, like, event space indoors. And, uh, and then the retail at the base is just another, another great example of why this corridor is, is what it is. This is going to be one of the trendiest hotels in the area though, in terms of like decor and everything sure. inside. Like when you walk in there, you do feel like you're in kind of one of like a, a boutique kind of major city hotel, right? Totally. What is, so I'm blind. What does that sign say? Established... 1893. 1893. Yeah. Awesome. Something else. Yeah. So anyway, the uh, across the street, the newly renovated or soon to be newly renovated uh, Kitchener City Hall in Zaire Square. Yeah. I haven't really been tracking uh, progress, but I imagine it'll be complete this summer and then yeah. we can get back to what we know and love about City Hall, the events, the festivals. Totally. And yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people that like maybe watching from out of, out of town, like they shut this whole street down. Yeah. Throw yeah, concerts yeah. and events, yep. like whether it's the Chris Kindle in the, in the winter, uh, as a winter market, Christmas market, or whether it's some of the concerts and, and stuff that happens during the well, summer, right? That's right, yeah, like Canada Day is a big one down here. Blues Fest, of course, you know, yeah. takes advantage of the road. They still will, uh, you know, as well as Victoria Park. We're gonna head down that way in, the, in a minute, but yeah. So let's uh, let's head down and uh, show you Charlie West. Yeah, sounds good. So you can kind of see, uh, kind of see we're on the, the edge of the park. So this is a really important corridor for the city right here, right, the, the, the link between City Hall and Victoria Park. Yeah. So the whole idea behind uh, uh, the, the newly designed Gockel is, is for it to be a pedestrian friendly street mm -hmm. and shut it down to vehicular traffic. And we need to be more like that in the city. I mean, like yeah. you go to Europe and those are the things you appreciated about it, right? Exactly, exactly. Wow. <clears throat> no, you guys obviously have a huge following locally, right? Like there's purchasers that have bought with you in some of your first projects being 42 or BPR lofts that yeah. still buy with you today. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's, that's, one of the, uh, that's one of the ways that we grew was on the back of the local local buyer, the local investor. A lot, of, a lot of them actually ended up moving into our condos and we've always, uh, we've always kind of been local first in our mindset. For sure. So, but I think that says a lot about you guys as a development company, right? Like not only um, do you clearly build great quality product that people are willing and desiring to buy again, but you obviously have a great customer experience as part of that too. That's right, yeah. So what's, what for you has been kind of instrumental in, in driving that? Yeah, so I, I would say it's been our focus on, on uh, you know, our, our, our sales marketing customer service team being your first touch point on the day of, of sale, being your, your next touch point, you know, at upgrades or selections, being your final touch point at, at PDI, and then same team right through warranty. Right. And, and, uh, so you get, so, to, you get to know, you yeah, get to know the team. Absolutely, you're talking, you're talking to Joy and Martha and yeah. Jen and Nicole on day one. And you're also talking to them on, you know, four years later. Yeah. And, and uh, so we, but we uh, pride ourselves on that. that when you guys are as local as you are, yeah. right? Like you're gonna, like you live downtown, right? I do. Yep. Yeah. You're, you're gonna exactly. walk the street and see these purchases. Oh yeah. You make oh yeah. Sure yeah. 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 Good yeah. product to the market. Yeah. You gotta be able to show your face in the elevator. <laughs> that's, that's the. Uh, yeah. That's actually the, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> But no, we, uh, we do pride ourselves on that. Yeah. So if people want to learn more about the project, um, parts of the unit, obviously they can reach out to us at Conoculture uh, at hello at conoculture.ca or reach out to any of the new dev development team members. They can also reach out to Momentum uh, Direct. That's correct, yeah. Reach out to us directly. This is our head office and uh, sales center showroom. So look forward to seeing you down here. Awesome. Good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you yeah. too.